Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video we're going to take you through reports in WooCommerce. You can see I've got them open on my screen now and this is the first report we can see. You can see up the top there are orders, customers and stock reports all available. And initially the first view you'll see is sales by date. You can also change it to by product category and also look at coupons by date. Just below this, you can customize the date range you're looking at. Now, the default's seven days. Uh, if you want to look further back in time, you can choose last month, this month, and year. And there's also the ability to add in a custom date as well, if you would like to do that. It's important to note you can also export to CSV, which means you can create a report, pull it down to your computer, and using Excel or another similar program, you can manipulate that data into reports and hopefully gain some useful insights. Other than that, over on the left-hand side of the reports area, we can see the total money value of sales generated, which is 65 pounds at this time. We've also got the average daily sales in dollar value, the orders placed, items purchased, and so on. And you can see it's all nicely graphed here. Uh, and you can hover over for further data. Obviously, this is a little bit blank at the moment because this is just a demo website that would be set up. Obviously, if you're using this for an actual online store, uh, one assumes or hopes that you're getting sales coming through so you get a richer experience in here. Uh, but anyway, that's really all there is to cover for this particular area. It's really straightforward. Uh, we'll just take a quick look at sales by product though. And over on the left hand side, we click on old boots because that's the only product we have. You can see the dollar value and how many times it has been purchased. So pretty handy to get that data uh, nicely formatted within the WordPress dashboard. Uh, other than that, we'll take a look at customers. And unfortunately, we don't actually have anything to show you at this time because we haven't had any customers sign up. You know, once again, it is just a demo website, but there has been one guest order and that is still reported in here. And just the same as before, uh, you can customize the date range that you're looking at. Other than that, it's also a really great way to keep track of your stock levels. So we'll just jump over here and it just says what's low in stock and there's none there at the moment but you can also change to out of stock and most stocked so you can see in terms of what we do have in stock is currently just the old boots product and from here you can go through very easily and edit the product and view the product as well but that's really all you need to know to use the reporting functionality in woocommerce it's very straightforward uh, provides a lot of useful data especially if you have uh, you know a real e-commerce site set up and you've got sales and events that are triggering reporting events. So hopefully you've taken something out of this. If you have any questions about anything we've covered, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe for more.